Yeah, you know that yell when you hear it. This is a streetcar named Desire, a Tennessee Williams favorite. So let's talk to Carrie Houck. She is executive artistic director of the Tennessee Williams Festival. Thank you so much for being with us today, Carrie. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So this year you will feature a glass menagerie. Of course, it's a great piece of art, but why that piece? Well, the, the piece was influenced by Tennessee Williams time in St. Louis and this is where our festival is, and um, although another company presented it under our auspices, Upstream Theater did our year one, uh, in a beautiful production, we have the good fortune of being able to do the play at the building where the Williams family moved when they came to St. Louis, um, which is, you know, historic as far as we're concerned and is a real gift to us that we're doing this site specifically in the Central West End where... Uh, at one of the buildings that influenced what I think is William's greatest play. And we have some of the actors and actresses here. Can you tell us a little bit about how are they doing? I mean, no pressure, right? Well, the beautiful thing is last year we pivoted to doing um, radio productions during the shutdown. So we kept working and we actually put our whole festival on the air in fully realized productions last fall. And the majority of the cast of our festival uh, participated in that. So they're all, they've already bonded and they're already like a family. Um, so it, it, it's actually um, been a lot of fun. We just hit the ground running as soon as they got to town. Speaking of town, you guys are going to paint it red. I saw the schedule. You all are going to be all over the place. Can you tell me about some of the other events you have planned for the festival? Yes, we're producing another play that was influenced by a William Short story written by John Guare called You Lied to Me About Centralia. Again, this was one of our radio productions last fall. And it is what happens when the gentleman caller leaves the Williams residence in the Glass Menagerie. So it's sort of a continuation of that story. And we have the same actor, Chauncey Thomas, playing Jim O'Connor, the gentleman caller, in both shows. We have a whole series of panels on Williams with some of the top scholars in the country. We have a tribute to Tennessee Williams. We have parties. We have book signings. So it's a full 11 days, for sure. I could definitely see that. What are you looking forward to the most? Well, I'm looking forward to seeing the play. Uh, we built a set on the back of the Tennessee, which is the apartment building where the Williams lived. The production will be outside. Um, we're trying to keep most of our events uh, outside completely for uh, COVID safety reasons. And we've gotten um, past the Missouri Art Safe certification and we're, we're abiding by strict actors equity rules to keep everyone included safe. We're working with a full vaccinated cast, crew, ushers, the works. But I'm really excited to see opening night of the Glass Menagerie at this very historic building and seeing it realized site specifically in this magical way. So, yeah, it, I mean, we've actually built the set sort of organically off the back of the building. Man, that's going to be absolutely beautiful and interactive as well. Everybody, this year's Tennessee Williams Festival starts August 19th. Again, goes for a full 11 days. We'll have a link at fox2now.com. Carrie Howe, yes. thank you so much for joining us. May we appreciate it. Yes, ma'am, please go ahead. All ticket sales are pre-sales this year. Okay. Uh, Metro Tix is keeping the box office open online until curtain time, and I think maybe even through first intermission. So we ca can't buy sell tickets at the door. So just buy them ahead of time. We're selling fast. Oh, well, uh, first of all, hurry up. They're selling fast, but also that keeps all of our ticket buyers safe as well. Again, thank you so much. Thank you for letting thank us know that. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too.